Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to be working with the Color Fantasy Workflow. We're going to be talking about working with photographs in different seasons and how to kind of enhance color and light based off the seasons and how you might use this to really enhance your photographs. So I've got a photograph open and this photograph, as you can tell, was probably shot in the spring. Um, we've got the nice green grass, the girls are wearing spring dresses. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my all-in-one and the first one I'm going to use is Colorful Dreams. Now for the spring we tend to use a lot of really kind of bright colors, pastel colors. So for this photograph I'm really going for a really kind of bright and saturated colorful kind of vibe I guess. So I chose the all-in-one Colorful Dreams number two. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my exposure and I'm using the darkened shadows just to add a little bit more contrast in there. And I'm gonna go down to my color presets and I'm gonna go ahead and add the color green burst. And as you can see, that just kind of changed this kind of yellow tone grass to a more truer green color. And green is always a great color for the spring. All right, so I'm gonna go down to my tone and tint Actually, not my tone and tint. I'm going to go to my tone presets and I'm going to go ahead and choose the cool shadows just to kind of add a little bit more of a cooler tone in there and still get rid of a little bit more of the yellow. The last thing I'm going to do to this photograph is add a vignette. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the subtle black and even though I added this vignette, it is a little too much for me. So even though it is a one-click preset, I'm going to go to my Effects tab here, and I'm going to change my Highlight Priority. That's what you're going to look for. That's going to change the vignette here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I have it at negative 13, so I'm going to go ahead and just bump it up to like negative 6. So we just took a little bit of that away. The next thing I want to do is open my brushes here and I'm going to go to my color fantasy brushes and I'm going with the brighten and I'm just going to kind of use that on these girls here and I'm going to turn the exposure up a little bit on that brush I just want to add a little bit of light to them and a little bit to the horse's head as well so I'm going to close out my brushes now I'm going to go to my basics tab right here and I am going to turn the highlights down a little bit because the highlights were turned all the way up with the preset. But as you can see it kind of blew out a little bit of the highlights here of the sun behind their hair. I'm going to go back to my brushes now. And I'm going to use one more brush. I'm going to use the Color Fantasy Light Add Golden Sun. And I'm just going to very Actually, first I'm going to change the color, so I'm going to go down to the color here, which this is set on a golden sun color, and I'm just going to lighten it a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and use that kind of up here, and just kind of saturate it up here, but bleed it down into the photograph as if it were sunlight coming into this forest here. All right, so that's all I'm going to do to this photograph. So we've taken a spring photograph and as you can see before it's really washed out, there isn't a lot of color, it's kind of bland, and we've just added a lot of color and light back into the photograph, really brought out those, uh, those spring color greens and the bright tones on their dresses, and it's just really enhanced the photograph. So now I've got this photograph that looks like it was taken during the summer, and one thing I want to go over in this color fantasy workflow is that you know, even though it is about color and light, it's not always about vibrant colors or the brightest colors because color can change depending. You can have muted colors and bright colors. It really just depends on the photograph and what kind of color that lends itself to that photograph. So for this photograph, even though it is in the summer, you can tell it kind of was taken probably around dusk and it has a more muted tone to it. So we're going to kind of go with that muted colors vibe. And the first thing I'm going to do is add an all-in-one preset. So for this one, I'm going for the all-in-one good old days, which has just kind of added a lot of light to the photograph and really brightened it up. 
I am going to turn the exposure up just a little bit more to make it a little bit brighter. And I'm going to turn the highlight down just a little bit. So I just tweaked the preset a little bit. So I do want to kind of, when I did that, I did lose a lot of the blue in the photograph. So what I'm going to do is go down to the color burst here. And I'm going to use the blue burst. All right, so that has added some of the blue back in here. So one of the defining features of this photograph is these really pretty tool blue dresses here. So to kind of bring those out, I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to the color fantasy brushes and I'm going for the one that says cyan here. And even though it says haze, I'm still going to use this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what I'm going to do is just turn the clarity up a little bit on that brush so it's not as hazy. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this brush just on these girls' dresses here to really bring out that blue color. And you can make your brush, you know, very small to kind of get in here and do those small details. You can even move in if you want. All right, so I'm going to go ahead with this brush and I'm going to change the saturation by turning it up. And I'm going to turn the exposure up a little bit just to add a little bit more light. And as well as turning up the contrast. I'm going to hit new. And I'm going to use that cyan haze brush one more time. Just once more to add a little bit more blue into here. The nice thing about using the haze is even though I turn the clarity up, uh, what it's doing is it's really kind of adding to the effect of the tool here. Tool does have kind of, you know, as a fabric, it has a nice hazy feel to it. All right, so I colored the dresses back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use that same brush again the haze, the cyan in the color fantasy here, but I'm going to use it um, a little bit kind of in the sky here and on the horizon just to bring some of the blue tones back into the photograph here. Turn the exposure down just a tad and I really want to turn the saturation up on this brush. Alright, I'm going to hit new. So now I'm going to use my Color Fantasy green tint brush here. And I'm going to use that a little bit in the grass over here. That's the one thing about this workflow that's really nice is it comes with these really colorful brushes and it's almost like you're painting. You can really kind of add the color detail back into the photograph. Right. So I'm going to hit new here. I'm going to go back into my brushes here. And this time I'm going for the Brighten Shadows brush. I'm just going to use that slightly on the boat here and on the ground as well. So the last edit I'm going to make to this photograph is I'm going to go down to my details tab and just turn the sharpen up a little bit. So here's the before and after. So as you can see, we've added a lot of light back into the photograph. We've really kept those kind of blue tones that are really nice in it. But we've also added a little bit of a warmer kind of retro vintage feel to it. So it just kind of gives you that really relaxed summer vibe that you would get down at the beach. All right, so now I'm going to move on to a photograph that was most likely taken during the fall. And in the fall, we get these really awesome reds and oranges and really just nice autumn colors. 
So for this photograph, we're going to be starting with an all-in-one again, and I'm going to be using the retro, the retro vibe number two. So it washed out a little bit of the color, but it did kind of give a nice matte effect to the photograph. So to get some of that color back in there, I'm going to go to my color presets, and I'm using the magenta burst, which is really going to bring out some of the tones here in their dresses and down here in the ground. And for this one, I do want to apply a vignette as well, so I'm going for the vignette medium black. I am going to turn down the vignette, so I am going to open my effects tab here and move my highlight priority up just a little bit. So as we did before with some of the other photographs, we're going to start using our brushes to add color and light back into the photograph. So for this one, I'm going to go to my Color Fantasy brushes, and I'm using the Color Fantasy Light Brighten. And I'm just going to use that on these girls right here, just to add a little bit of light to them, because they are the subjects of the photograph. So I'm going to hit New, and I'm doing that one more time. Second time around, I am going to turn the exposure up just a tiny bit. All right, I'm going to hit new again. So now we're going to go in and use our color brushes in the color fantasy set here just to add color back in there. So the first one I'm going to use is the color magenta. As you can see, it changes the color of the brush down here. I'm going to open my brush and right here I'm going to have the feather of my brush on 100, but I did turn the flow down because I don't want to have so much color that it's almost unrealistic looking. So I'm just going to kind of you know, spot check this here in the ground, here in the leaves, to get those red tones and leaves back. And I'm going to use it up here as well in the trees. And you'll have to be really exact with this because we're just really kind of bringing out the tones and the fall colors here. So I'm going to do this same process again. I'm going to hit new. This time I'm using the color mustard brush. And same thing, just kind of spotting it here on the ground and up in the back of the trees here. All right, and one last brush. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Haze Golden brush, just up here in the trees a little bit. All right, so that's all I'm doing to this photograph. So here's a before and after. So we didn't make a huge change with this photograph. We did add light and we have a nice matte effect and we've really brought out the warm fall colors. Uh, there, were, there was a lot of nice color in this photograph before, but we just really enhanced it here just to make it more polished and more professional looking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the Color Fantasy workflow during seasons. And hopefully you can try it out for yourself.